Okay guys, so this is from here. Um, I guess you should recognize this place. This is where I find my um, program IV hubcap. So, um, uh, yesterday when I passed here at night, I think I saw a aftermarket hubcap, I think over by where the pipe is, like over there. So, uh, I'm gonna go fetch it now. So, what you see is avoid them, because the sticks, the seeds sometimes will stick on you. And yeah, not a good idea. So, another one of these oh good and it's got this clip okay so i'm gonna make a review right now no. okay so um i'm back with retrieving this um proton saga hubcap just like the one i found in hubcap hunting number 14 i believe um click on the eye above to watch that me retrieving that um hubcap video so because um again um actually this hubcap was originally i think it was actually i think i first saw it last month or something and i it was i, I saw it like this way and to be honest it looks Actually, it actually does look like a Proton um, Saga hubcap. Let me show you how it looks like. So, okay, right. I took the Proton Saga hubcap here, the newer version, and this, the Proton older one, and then they actually look pretty similar, right? So, yeah, so I actually thought it was um, this kind of hubcap because I already saw it like that. So, yeah, only difference is that they actually have a bump here, and I actually don't have a bump here, but they have a bump here. But, yeah, to be honest, they actually really do look similar. Okay, so I uh, leave this aside. I make a review on this one. So this thing has a has um probably severe curb rashes, but not as bad as the other one where I um let me show you so that one. You can see this one was the one I just found just now, and this was the one I found the other day. So okay, there's a huge difference in between them. This thing still comes with original color, while this thing well faded away and broke here. But this thing has no crack um places except the back where I show you right um I'll show you soon. So this thing obviously um, uh, was treated badly or whatever, or how it happened to be that, I have no idea. Probably people maybe took some chemicals and washed it anyway. So I don't, I'm not sure what these rusty parts are. I believe probably someone took some metal wires and tied it to their car, um, the alloy rim, so they it won't fall off, but they did not do a good job. Um, otherwise, this thing will be in my hands. So here, as you can see, I think I mentioned it earlier, it has curb rashes or whatever that is. It looks like burns about burn marks or whatever but doesn't really matter compared to that one yeah it doesn't matter doesn't matter too much so yeah um onto the back as you can see it was pretty dirty and um the only problem is that there are two broken clips actually bent clips but um actually i'm surprised to find the ring still on well this thing well yeah you can see i watched this um uh, actually, well, on that on that video, someone disliked it, and they probably thought that it was a fake find. But um, to be honest, it was not a fake find because I found it under the tree, and I, I told you that my camera ran out of battery one day, and I, I, my camera ran out of battery, and then I filmed the review on the next day, so I typed in between to watch the hubcap, so it's not a fake find. So whoever disliked it, please uh, don't. Anyway, on to this thing. Um, so yeah, I think I mentioned it. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat it anyway, cause whoever is watching this might not know. It's made by Hill Industries again, H I L whatever, and it's wheel co wheel covered. Item code is P W five five one four seven seven. You can't really see it though. Over here you could. Oh, yeah, so this is a genuine one, cause um, the aftermarket ones again, as I mentioned, doesn't have a logo. It's just flat. Um, you can find me retrieve that hubcap there, so click on the eye above to watch me retrieve the aftermarket Proton Saga one, the one that looked like this one. Yeah, so yeah, it doesn't have the badge. So onto here, um, yeah, I'm not still not sure what that says. So again, if you don't know, I mentioned this earlier that so whoever made this had problems or brain damage, whatever. And um, I'll show you here; it's clearer. So um, they made it, they made it upside down. You know that the actually like flipped around so like the date is backwards you can't really read it so this thing again was made in 2007 i think it was october or um september but well this thing was made in 2004 january or 2004 i actually let me think march probably i can't really see it it wasn't that clear but it's pretty weird if that thing was made in 2004 this thing was made in 2007 i'm not sure how that how they um the newer one managed to did that so uh, um altogether i don't i don't think there's anything much to say other than i'm glad that i got the ring with it and most of the clips survived except actually sorry actually three three bent clips yeah thanks for watching